Thank you guys for coming out. What I made for you is basically pickled fish on toast. A classic Jewish dish informed by all of the influences of Los Angeles. So you have Japanese influences, Korean influences. I hope you enjoy. Michael's is a restaurant that's been in Santa Monica, California for about 40 years. It's taken lots of young chefs and given them a place to find their voice. I've been at Michael's for a little over two years now, and I think it's just, it's time for me to move on. When you're driving through LA, you can get, you can get anything. Fresh galangal that's grown in the United States. You can find the lamb head. There's this amazing resurgence of so many cultures and so much food. But I feel like one that you're not seeing is Jewish food, you know? The real deep core stuff that nobody knows about. Okay, so uh, an appetizing shop is a style of delicatessen, a real apothecary. There's this storm of bees inside of you when you walk into a place like this that doesn't exist anywhere in LA, I think. Hey, Mom, um, what do you know about those? Did you ever go to any of those when you were growing up? I remember the, the wonderful smell when you opened the door. It was amazing. I'm just curious about all this stuff because I'm, I'm thinking of, like, uh, formulating an appetizing shop and put it through a modern lens of, you know, technique and ingredients, you know? It, it's really so interesting you say that. When your great-grandfather arrived in the States, the deli was away for the recent emigrates to have a reminder of home. You know, in thinking about a possible appetizing shop, you're gonna need menu items. I think that everything needs to be super vocal in the way that it expresses itself flavor-wise. Now, traditionally, a Jewish deli, when you get a sandwich, it comes with a sour pickle, but I love understanding and making things that are in a traditional manner, but then I like turning it on its head. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm, thank you. <laughs> mm. Okay. Two cups. Yeah, strong. Mm. 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 이 음식을 먹고 내가 정말로 사랑하는 사람이 이 음식을 먹는구나 생각하고 기쁜 마음으로 정성 들여서 내가 제일 사랑하는 사람이 So if you have the acidity of the kimchi it's fermentation and it's like tang and it's funk and then the funk of the mackerel product itself of the fish Born and raised in San Pedro third generation Wow my grandfather came over here. It was all uh, Austria-Hungary. Yeah, my family is also from Austria-Hungary. Yeah, he probably left the same reason why yep, my grandfather fit, because yeah, the war was coming. Oh, wow. Beautiful. This is your blue mackerel. OK. OK. A lot of the Slavin Italians, the Croatians, they all they barbecue them. They do all sorts of stuff with them. But they, like anything else, they all come in different shapes and sizes. It's so funny when all of these immigrants came, a lot of their children, they were not allowed to speak the native language. They were like, that's embarrassing. Like, you are an American. You need to be an American. And I think, like, the most beautiful thing about a city like Los Angeles is that you can be anyone here. It's the word acceptance. Jewish food is by no means flashy. It's very, very comforting and soulful and about reminding you that you're safe and reminding you of the feeling of being home. My food 
is based in that, because that's why I grew up eating. It has to feel like it's ringing true to your soul. <laughs>